What's good, guys? If you're looking for cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure I head over my sponsor. Use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout for the most cheapest, most fastest, most quickest, reliable source on the internet right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K22 My Team video. And guys, today we are going over the market. As you guys do know, they did just drop this content yesterday, and we're going to go over everything that you guys need to know about the market and pretty much what's going on in the game. Um, so if you guys are new, sum it up, comment down below. It'd be appreciated, man. Um, pretty much, if you're interested in any sports cars or if you need to buy and or sell your MT, I'm buying and selling MT. Hit me up on Instagram and or Twitter and or TikTok. TikTok's for live streams on sports cards. Instagram and Twitter is for buying and selling MT and selling sports cards. If you want to do any of that, just hit me up on those. Um, we're going to do a giveaway on TikTok very soon. Make sure to like this video. Make sure to comment. Let's try to hit 50 likes. More likes. The comments. Um, if you comment, I will answer your questions. So let's just get into this video. Um, first off, I wanted to say one thing. I told you guys the one player that caught my eye was Drew Holiday. Have you guys seen his price? First off, I actually sold him. I actually pulled him in at one pack at the end of the video yesterday. Um, this Drew Holiday is just up in value. And I mean a ton up in value. This card is insane. Um, he is actually the best point guard in the game, in my opinion. It's not even close, actually. Um, obviously, he's not the best at shooting, but his defense makes up for everything. He is the best defensive point guard in the game, and it's no questions asked. He is absolutely dirty. So, Drew Holiday, absolutely insane. Definitely, just definitely continuously check his price. He's going to maybe, he's going to go down in value when Superbacks come out, but he's definitely a beast. Next up, we got Julius Randle. His price is up there too. He's also an absolute beast, and I'm actually about to buy him. I am a Knicks fan, and I do love the Bucks because of Giannis. Uh, I love the Bucks as well. They're champions, but... It's mostly because of Giannis, but Julius Randle, and I like Chris Milton a lot. Julius Randle, guys, all right, he's a beast. For 22,000 MT, I don't think you go wrong. I know Super Packs are coming out soon, but if you compare him to this Jermaine O'Neal Diamond, he's actually way better. He's just not the best at defense, but it doesn't matter. If you're playing power forward and his jump shot's actually usable, this card's an absolute beast. So Julius Randle is going to be a post demon, and he's also gonna be amazing at shooting from the corner so this guy's a must cop i'm gonna try to snipe him out just want to go over that um i guess we'll check levine levine's still gonna be up there in valley even though his defense is so bad like he's gonna get beat on defense almost every single time that's the one reason why i don't really like levine too much and then that grant hill i never touched grant hill in any 2k i'm just not a fan of grant hill in 2k they never make him good um but anyways let's get into these filters yesterday i was showing off the ruby filter made a ton of mt off of it um, <clears throat> one of the better filters in the game. So I want to put your filter to around 20, I guess 23. Let's see what's going on at 23. So Chris Kamen is at 23. Let's put it at 22.5. Pretty much everything that pops up other than a couple players, you guys have to know them. You have to go over them. Check the market before you do buy, but definitely continuously refresh this filter. It's absolutely insane. One of the best filters in the game. And not only that, we're going to have content Friday. I wish 2K started dropping content on Wednesdays and Thursdays as well, because I don't know. It's kind of dry. The game needs a little bit more oomph to it. And as of right now, I feel like the game's kind of slow paced and it needs a little more oomph. It needs more content. It needs more things to do. I feel like Triple Threat and TTO offline is just not cutting it for me. I feel like it's way too try hard. It's not casual. Not only that, it's just like there's really not good rewards. They should definitely up the rewards. Like, I believe they should up the rewards. I don't think it's good enough. Same with Unlimited. I lost another game in Unlimited yesterday because of the turnoff glitch. I'm losing my mind. The turnoff glitch is absolutely ruining my gameplay experience. I've lost eight games or not. I lost eight games now from the Xbox turnoff glitch. I don't know what's wrong with my Xbox, but it only it, it can't handle 2K. Every time I step foot in the game, I'll be winning. And after the first quarter, it just shuts off. I don't know what triggers the Xbox turnoff glitch, but it's absolutely insane. Oh, there we go. Lou Dort for 1900 with an 8 gen mid. Lou Dort is one of my favorite rubies. I actually started him with my squad. He is clams and he can shoot. So we just got him for 1900. If we sell him at 2300, we make MT. Lou Dort is going for a whopping, I think like 25 ish probably. 26, 25. All right. Listen, I'm going to put him up for 2450. We're not going to make a lot of MT, but you know what? I'll take it. It's never an L if you at least get a little bit of profit. But yeah. As you can see, man, today the filter's dry. There's no content. On content days, man, is the days you want to snipe. Right now, it's not looking too good. Let's check out the Amis. Let's check out what's going on over here. You could definitely make a lot of MT off the Amis. You just got to know what you're doing. Clip Hagen with 75 is not bad. 
like I said, you want to stay away from these legends. These legends are the ones you want to stay away from because you're not going to make MT off them and they're harder to sell. So definitely try to stay away from the legends like Ronaldo Blackman, George McGinnis. Um, I don't even know. All the all the OG uh, Amethyst legends are just never worth it. They're just never, ever worth it. They're just never, ever a snipe. Um, Cliff Hagen is one of the only legends I would maybe consider just because he could shoot and people actually like him and he has a good jump shot. Um, so definitely maybe Cliff Hagen. He actually has really good stats. Um, so definitely try that out. Honestly, definitely try that out. Next up, we got Amethyst. This is another filter I'm going to show you. Amethyst Primetime. And guys, right now the market's pretty high. If you want to sell your squadron and make some MT, I would go ahead and do so. Definitely a good time to sell. Um, but this filter is pretty good. You just want to stay away from Stackhouse. Pretty much anything else that pops up is going to be a snipe. You just got to know that. Uh, let me see. One more thing I wanted to show you. Fred Van Fleet. If you invested in Fred Van Fleet when I told you to do so... I just can't believe this car is over 25k. It just blows my mind. Continuously check this filter because there might be a snipe up there. Because Fred Van Fleet honestly is a top point guard in the game. And so is this Kawhi Leonard's really expensive as well. Definitely keep your eyes on Kawhi Leonard. He might have a price drop. I know Super Packs are coming soon, so you're definitely going to see his price drop. But uh, other than that, I guess we'll end the video with a nice pack of Ruski right here. Um, hopefully we pull some heat. Uh, that Mo Williams is also a player you want to watch because Mo Williams is so cheese in 2K. But let's see if we can pull. Damn, nothing in this one. No rubies, just an emerald. All right, I'll tell you, Bill Russell's not bad. But yo, other than that, that's all we really got for the video. Um, you know what? Let, let's go over a couple other things. Let's go over a couple other things. Hold on. So, who was I just talking about? Oh, Mo Williams. All right. Let's check out Mo Williams' price because I believe you can make a lot of MT off Mo Williams as well. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. So Mo Williams, 4,500 MT. I think this guy is going to be an absolute steal. If you get him for 4K, I think that's going to be an absolute snipe. If you compare him to Jamal Murray, he's literally better. And it makes no sense to me. He has more, pretty, he has more gold badges than him. Less silver, more bronze. Two less Hall of Fame. This guy is an absolute G. He's going to change your games, and especially for the price, he's going to win you games. He is too cheap. He's too good. You have to cop Mo Williams. He is a cheese head. But, yo, um, other than that, I'm definitely going to try to cop and get myself uh, a hands on my Julius Randle. Waiting for Giannis to drop. I can see a Giannis dropping this week. I don't know if you guys agree with that statement, but I can definitely see a Giannis dropping this week. I think it's Giannis's time to come out. Um, it's been a while since they dropped the Giannis. They actually haven't even dropped the Giannis this year. So, oh, I'm buying that. 1900 for Julius Randle. Welcome to the squad. He's an absolute beast. And yo, um, this Jay Crowder is also a beast. Jermaine O'Neal is hitting the bench. I cannot stand him and I can't stand that Wiggins either. But yo, other than that, that is all we got for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Stay tuned for more content. Have a good one. Peace.